Hey right, guys, I just wanted to do a little review on some vacuum pumps that I have. This was the JB that I used to run. I ran these for years. I probably had these two here for probably oh, 17, 18 years. The only problem with these were they would leak from these these ports here from bouncing around in the truck. The oil would leak down. And then you know the rubber legs would would basically deteriorate. So this one's the same thing, it's leaking from this port site port. So about a year ago I bought this one, the Platinum JB, which is a real good pump. And I recently just um, got my hands on this uh, Tez 8. So what I did was um, I did a comparison on you know how much oil that they take and the weight of the units. I weighed these two. Another thing that I liked about the old JB was you can see that the cord is pretty long on the old JB. This new JB Platinum is the cord is quite a bit shorter. Probably by, I don't know, four or five feet. About four feet shorter, which makes a difference. And then this Tez 8, look how short the cord is. Let's be even off the. Um, off the table there. So I'm not a big fan of that. Alright, as far as the oil goes, the Tez 8, which the oil goes on the side here, you can change it on the fly. You just basically pop this all open, this thing drops right out, and you can change the oil. Boom. Just like that. And it comes with a spare, spare thing of oil. This is 7 ounces. 7 ounces. Of oil. The platinum took 22 ounces of oil. I drained it down. I didn't bore you guys with it, but I, I put it in this container and I checked the ounces. I drained, filled it up all the way, drained it out completely, and uh, checked the oil because I wanted to change the oil anyway. All right, so 22 ounces. So 7, 14, 21, three containers of the Tez 8 it takes to fill this. Okay, and then you can see this one's a little bit bigger. This one took 30 ounces of oil. So 7 times 4 would be 28. So 4 times 4 of these containers of oil to fill this. 3 of these oils to fill this. So that's definitely a good thing, uh, the Tez 8. Now as far as the weight, I just put it on my scale. I weighed it on my refrigerant scale. The Tez 8 came in at 27.6 pounds. 27 pounds, 6 ounces. This JB came in at 28 pounds, 3 ounces. So, you know, it's within a pound difference. And then this one was 28 pounds, uh, 15 ounces. So they're all within a pound of each other. But you can see that this one is obviously a lot bigger dimensions than this um, Platinum, the JB. And it's wider. You know, this Tez 8 does have some good features. I'm going to go over a couple of them with you. This port, this thing will this thing will loosen up here and this thing will move. You've got a half inch port, two three eighths and a quarter inch. And if you back this thing right out, you can pop it right off its O-rings in there. You can see the O-rings. And you can look right down inside there. So basically what happens is when this thing's running, this little side port lifts off here. And there's a little catch container right here that'll pop right out. Okay? So what happens is when this thing's running a vacuum, any oil or any kind of contaminants will drop right into this clear container. And then it goes back up into here. There's a little screen here that will catch any contaminants. That little screen, it goes up and then it goes into the vacuum, uh, the oil side. So that's a pretty good feature. So this stuff, any kind of contaminants will drop straight into this container right here. Which you have to kind of kind of pull that spring down and then pop it up. Now another good feature with this, if, if you have pressure on a system and you're trying to put pressure through the vacuum pump, this thing will blow off right here. Boom. 
instead of blowing all your oil out of your pump. I'm sure you guys know if you ever have hooked up your vacuum pump and you put pressure to it, you know, not will not um, knowingly, but it does happen, then you blow the oil right out. Whoosh. Happened to me a couple of times. So that's a good that's a good point there. Then when it pulls a vacuum, that thing's supposed to pop right up in there on that. So that's definitely uh, a good thing about that. Because it well, screws right back in. You can loosen it to turn it if you want. Pop that right back in. That's done. It's got a little hose connection here. This is the exhaust. If you want to tuck a hose to it to get rid of the, the fumes outside. And obviously the oil. You can change the oil on the fly. You just pop that right out and put the new container right in there boom and what happens with these pumps is um, you know if there's any kind of moisture in a system this will turn this will turn milky this oil will turn milky um, if it's contaminated full of like uh, smag sh from not doing the proper nitrogen charge this will turn black the oil so basically if it's running and it's dirty while it's pulling a vacuum you could just change the oil right out boom it's only seven ounces it's not bad it is a little bit bigger than I would like for my truck as far as you know for room wise but, uh, the mother three three vacuum pumps that I have I just figured I'd do a little review on them and they tell you to do is this, this is a two stage also to tell you when you first start it you wanna crack this bleeder here till it starts and then shut it off on this is a two-stage you got your gas gas ballast right here usually start it you know you open it up let it let the air out and then you would shut it off pull it into this two stage this one's a little bit different but I've been curious about the Tez 8 and that's why I wanted to get it to try it out I'm gonna run them a little bit and let you hear what they sound like Alright, we're going to start this platinum up here. You guys all know what a vacuum pump sounds like. Let's try the Tez 8. Yeah, and this one has a little switch in the back here. Turn it on. This one does seem a little bit louder. Exhaust blows out here. Exhaust blowing out here. I think this is more of a commercial pump, if you're asking me. Change the oil. And I do recommend you change the oil every time you use this pump. And if it's a burnout, I tell you what they want you to do is um, put a core removing tool on here. And you you cut it like halfway, so you're letting some air in and you run it. This oil gets milky or black. You know, you change the oil a couple. Of, might have to do it a couple of times till it runs clear, and then you're good to go with the oil. That's what I like about this is you can see what the condition of the oil is. You know, this one here, um, you got a sight glass on this, but if there's some schmag in the bottom. It's, it's kind of hard to see what the condition of the oil is. You know, we should ch change the oil every time we use these pumps anyway. But not many people do that. 
Usually what I do if I'm going to run this pump, I put my, my micron gauge on there and I'll run it. If it runs down, pulls down to 50 microns or lower, I know the oil's good. Then I'll use it. Alright guys, I've been running this for a little while. The lowest I can get it to go down is about, you know, 22 microns. 22.7. This one will pump right down to like 17, like nothing. Took quite a while too to pump down. I got a little, I got a little pocket watch here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a time on it. Alright, side pressure. I'll start it up. We'll say there, 26. See what we got there. It's about one minute. I know this one pumps down a lot quicker. Unless this is a defective machine, could be. stuff over to this JB. Alright, so you guys know I had all the stuff tight. I checked everything. There's all good gaskets in there. I had put an log, you know, on my um, on my connections there. Alright, so we were about, we're about one minute I would say. And then go, we'll see what this one comes out to. Alright. already down 18, 14, and that was 10 seconds. seems to take a long time to pump down unless it's defective. I checked everything. It's got new oil. I checked all the connections. I don't know. I'll be sending that sucker back. Overall, I like this little JB streamline. It's smaller. Um, they're good. They pump good. Good vacuum pumps. I don't have a problem with changing a little bit more oil. It's got the longer cord. I think that's a better pump. Myself. This is a 7. CF, CFMs. And this one's an 8. So theoretically this one should pump down quicker. You know, I did get this thing on eBay, so might have been a defective unit. It's going back. All right, guys, appreciate you watching. Um, leave some comments if you like. All right, bye.